idea that my group and I came with is, uh, is about uh, improving, boosting micro and uh, small businesses, problem ideas uh, for uh, and connecting them with investors, potential investors. So basically what we do is give a platform for the micro and small businesses in Rwanda and we connect them with the investors. Uh, that's basically what uh, our is going to be doing. Yeah. Uh, today I pitched about a, a, a social uh, crowdfunding application which is even a social uh, saving groups uh, app that I've done. So it is for everyone to, to kind of use. Basically the way it works, um, there is two missions for a farmer. A farmer has a mission to increase the harvest and also make a good money by selling harvest. So to increase harvest means he has to apply the best practices. So our application allows the farmer to record the input, both content and the cost. So based on the input, the application advises him the best practices. If uh, yesterday, because I told you that we now have about 8,000 selling Being around here today, this afternoon, this Sunday afternoon, for me it's very exciting to see how uh, young people have turned up uh, to showcase their ideas. One particular interesting thing that I've really appreciated is that a number of young people actually have ideas on financial inclusion, have ideas to see more usage of insurance or savings or credit and um, even peer-to-peer -peer lending. So it was interesting to see that uh, there are ideas there. Pictures were very interesting, very diverse, and the great thing to see is that people are solving actual problems that they see around them and are taking actions to build their own solutions rather than waiting for other people to solve them for them. And I think that is something that I find always very inspiring. As, 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 the, as the business people, we are not only... It was a life-changing process, I can tell you that. Uh, I got to learn a lot of things that I would not have learned if I did not come here. I uh, it was a really good experience and I get to meet a lot of people with beautiful ideas and then knowing that I'm part of that competing, that competing sphere gives me a lot of uh, drive to work even harder to make sure that I get to win this. The, the, the pitching was cool, yeah, it was fine, uh, we, I enjoyed it and uh, one thing that I learned is that uh, Actually, uh, an application is not a business. So uh, here we were doing a, about a, a financial inclusion, which was a, a data to about financial inclusion. So uh, I, sometimes when you are a, 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 an entrepreneur in ICT, you get to, to, to think that only an app is going to make you rich, but that's not the case. So here I learned that uh, having a, an app is not actually having a business. You have to learn, to learn uh, business aspect of it. So I've learned a lot on the, on the side of our business from the, the view, reviews of, of the panelists. Uh, I think there's still definitely more work to be done for those ideas to indeed respond to the needs that we see out there. And um, I think we are going to continue to work closely with these young people. In terms of questioning the assumptions that they have, and uh, give them the, the connections to financial service providers, or even clients, to see that they indeed are speaking to the needs of those people. And that at the end, by January, hopefully, some of these ideas will be well tuned to respond to those needs. Uh, when we, we get a chance to meet different stakeholders in the finance industry, and those are people who work with farmers. So they explain it to us why it's, a, it's important to consider such feature and also to explain to them how the solution of us works. So it's, a, it's also the beginning to start working together on how those people they can finance farmers based on the record uh, generated via our application. What people need to work on is to communicate um, more clearly and keep in mind the level of knowledge that the audience has. In a lot of cases, people who pitch are very technical 
um, and then they present their solution in a very technical way, who actually um, put themselves in the shoes of the actual consumer and present an idea in a way that somebody who doesn't have the technical knowledge can understand it as well. So making it easy, making it simple, making it easy to understand, that's probably one of the most crucial things when, when pitching. Like I said, we're looking at just micro, small businesses, but we put them business ideas. We're looking at a person who has gone out there, has tried. But personally, as I've seen it, it's a role that, that seeks to improve on the, on the and the mindsets of people, personally, because uh, I never thought that I would be here competing for something related to IT because personally I do not do IT. So uh, it changed my mindset, showing me that I can, I can do anything as long as I set my mind on to it. So a lot of these um, group saving projects where you, know, you save in a community, you save among your family or, or your neighborhood, these are things that um, people do across the continent and across the world. So if somebody can come up with a solution that works and is scalable, um, there's definitely opportunities to build almost a global company around it. So the potential is, is definitely there. And it's probably like a bank for us or something else. It's an opportunity for us as Access to Finance Rwanda to be working with ICT Chamber uh, to bring out ideas, ideas and uh, solutions, potential solutions that can uh, help increase access and usage of financial services uh, in Rwanda. More of these things should be put on, put on, because a lot of people have beautiful ideas, and they just need people like this to come and give them that that platform to showcase their ideas. So yes.